Hi there my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. It's Wednesday and for me that means WTF Wednesday in which I go over the past week of online expenses and we replace that money back in the bank where it belongs. So thank you for being here. Click that subscribe button, like the video, and let's go. Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you guys are doing great and this week is going perfect for you guys. I want to start this video off as per usual with our prompt card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt card. It's basically a conversation starter, so I'll ask and answer the question on this card in the video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. It's just a little something to help me get to know you better and you guys to feel like you get to know me better. What skill do you wish you could instantly master? I wish that I could instantly master the skill of cooking and the enjoyment of cooking. That would be great. <laughs> um, because I am going into this new diet type of thing with low carb and stuff, I want to try out different things. And so it would be nice if I had some skills in that area. I am playing around with it. Pinterest helps a lot, but... I wish I could instantly master and just know. What about you guys? What skill do you wish you could instantly master? All right, so we're just gonna get right into this. Let me flip back to my WTF Wednesday section right here. If this is the first time checking in with one of my WTF Wednesday videos, this is basically all it is. I go over the past week of online expenses and we do that together here. And then I just pull cash from envelopes to cover the cost. And this method really works well if you already have an account buffer in your account that's just not for anything else. And you can use that like petty cash and just replace it back as you need to. And for me, that's once a week. Um, and it seems to be working out well. But I really need to get this one done because we did spend a little bit more than I was prepared for. So you'll just, you'll just have to see. I also use no spend days to track how many days nothing came out of my account, which is nice. And I make a little goal, just kind of make it a game of it. But other than that, that's basically all you need to know. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into this. Today I'm going to be using pink, I think, the Frixion Fine Liner. It's erasable, which is my friend. So it's either Friction or Frixion. So I don't know. But I got them off of Amazon in case you were wondering. All right, so let's just go right into this. I'm going to start with Wednesday, and we actually had a no spin day. So that means I get a sticker. On Thursday, however, we did have something come out, and that was for groceries, and that was 21.15, and that'll do it for that day. And then on the 5th, we did have some purchases, and my hubby went and got some wood stuff since we you know, put some money in there for him, and he made sure it was $100 even. Then... Um, we did have some car maintenance that we had to do. It wasn't very much, luckily, but it was $52.37. And then I did, I did get some extra little things from Shein. So I'm just going to pull this from Miscellaneous. And it was $15.11. And that'll do it for those days. And now this and this both have no spin days, so that's also good for me. And I think that's the only ones I get. So moving on to the 8th, we did have Peach Pass come out. That is our local toll system for $20. And then we had Grocery. And that was for $12.47. And I'm pretty sure that was medicine, but I'm just going to pull it from grocery. And then I had my daughter's birthday. This will be coming from that envelope. 
and that was three hundred and twenty two dollars and ninety two cents her birthday is not till November but she knew what she wanted so I went ahead and snatched it up and then we had another grocery purchase this was the big haul and that was for five hundred and thirty four dollars and forty three cents we actually went to the store together and grocery shopped for the first time in a long long time so that was it was strange but it was extremely crowded going on a Sunday was not a good idea I wish it didn't come out till Monday but oh my gosh Whew. the crowds were ridiculous all right so moving on to the ninth we had a grocery purchase I did this on um, Amazon because I couldn't find what I wanted at Walmart so I was like oh, I'll just get it off of Amazon so that was for $34.13, and then I did it again. So there was two different Amazon purchases um, that I bought off of Amazon. I think I just said that, but anyway. And that was for $35.38. So I'm trying out those Atkins snack bars type thing. So I wanted to go ahead and grab up some of those. And I couldn't find them at Walmart, and I don't know if I was just in the wrong section, but... It was so crowded, and I just was ready to get out of there. And I was like, I'll just get it on Amazon. So that's what I did. And then the last one was for my daughter's mental health. So I'll just put mental health, her appointment yesterday. And that was $65. All right. And that'll do it for all of the purchases of this past week. I will be pulling from three separate categories as needed. First, I have my account buffer, and I try not to pull from this if I can help it. And then I have my grocery buffer, which also stays in my account. And that's what I use to buy all my grocery things. And last but not least is the sinking funds, and that is just basically a fun little term for all the envelopes I'm going to be pulling from today. So that's that. <sighs> all right, since I am extra... I do like to put um, squares on each of these, so I have a little checkbox. So I'll do that really quick, set up, and then we will start pulling some cash. So first, I'm going to start with my grocery, which I keep in prop bills in here, just so I can help track what's in my account for groceries specifically. But first, we need to do some addition. So 21 with 15. 1247, 534, 43, and 3413, 35, 38. Okay, so that's a total of $637.56. I'll round it up to 638, which means 5650. I need change. Which means I have $12 left in my account for groceries. Hopefully we make it through. That makes me nervous going into a whole nother week. But we have covered this, that, this, this, and this. Alright, next one in here that I can pull from is my Peach Pass right here. We are going to do a 20. And I need to go ahead and write, this was 6.38. Okay, so I'm taking this 20 from Peach Pass. So that means we covered that. And then the other one I wanted to pull from Miscellaneous, 15.11. So let's do, let's do 15. That still leaves $30 in Miscellaneous. Alright, so I think the next one I'm going to go to is my short term to grab up mental health, which is here. Okay, so for mental health, I'm taking the 65 for this week's appointment. So 50, 65. And 
And then I'm going to go ahead and hit up my daughter's birthday envelope, which is in my kid's binder. And it's my middle child. Like I said, her birthday is not until November, but she already knew what she wanted, so I grabbed it up while it was on sale. One, two, three hundred, twenty. Let's do, oh, we got one, two, three. Perfect. So one, two, three hundred, twenty, three. Perfect. And that just leaves twenty-one dollars. So what I need to do while I'm here is change her birthday goal to, let's do, let's do this marker. Alright, so we know we have 21 left in here. So the goal for each of their birthdays is 500, and I just spent 323. So that makes her new goal, let's write it up here, 177. That way I know, you know, that I've got the right amount. Alright, done with that. Then I'm going to hop into my business binder, which is where my hubby's side hustle envelopes are. And we're going to grab up that 100 that he spent. 50, 100. And last but not least, this is my reserves binder. The sticker does not want to stay, so I quit fighting with it. But it's reserves. And we're going into car maintenance. We need to grab up $53 worth. So let's see what we have. Of course, no change, but we do have 60. So let's grab out of five, six, and seven. So. That should, is there a better five? Not really, but it's not ripped, so I'll take it. Alright, so this will go in there, and then I got seven dollars in change to put back in. And that covers that. Okay, so now what I want to do is go ahead and calculate up how much I spent in total this week. We'll put it right here. So we have spent a total of $1,212.96. We didn't take anything from the account buffer, so that's really good. And as far as what we have pulled from envelopes, We have 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 520, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 76. So 576. That means we pulled 638 from our grocery buffer and then 576 from our sinking funds, which more than enough covers what we spent this week. So now I'll just add this money to my back to the bank. I need to make that deposit as soon as possible. I already have some cash in here because my kids bought some things online and had to pay me back. Alright. 
So our total deposit we're going to make this week is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 50, 70, 90, 6, 10, 30, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 700, 5, 10, and 11. So 711 is what we're going to deposit right back into the account. And last thing I like to do is to transfer this number before I close out the video. And that's 121296. I believe this is the marker I used. So, nope, not the marker. Maybe this one? Yeah, that one. Okay, so this is the third through... I think the ninth, yes, eight, nine, second Wednesday video of the week, and of course I already forgot, so 12, 12, 96, 12, 12, 96, the struggle, the struggle is so real. All right, so 1335.96 plus 12.12.96 is $2,548.92 that we've already spent this month. Good gosh. All right, so we're done with our WTF Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. I do these videos more to just keep myself on track. Um, because I know it can get away from me, so it's basically an accountability system that I'm using you guys for <laughs> to keep me accountable to myself and to my family to repay the expenses that we do online. So it's very, very important. I keep doing that. And if it inspires you guys, then I am so happy to hear it. All right. So with that being said, on Friday, we're going to have another video, but it's not going to be a cash stuffing like usual. It is actually going to be another DIY video. So we're going to do another one of my daughter's envelopes for her binder. And then on Monday will be a cash stuffing. So two DIYs this week and two cash stuffings next week. It'll be great. All right. With that being said, we are all done with this video. I appreciate everyone that is here. And if you're still watching and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the family. I'd love to be your weekly inspiration for your own budgeting journey. But with that said, have a good rest of your week and I'll see you guys on Friday. As always, until next time. Bye.